Okay, this uh, this thing has enough battery for me to give you a summary of today. Um, going to take care of the dogs right now. It's been a heck of a morning. Um, doing the mileage right now. Received a uh, settlement statement over the weekend for closing on Thursday. Sent it back for some adjustments that are needed. That usually happens. Have a day working it today. The uh, seller, I believe, is out of town. I think I saw on her Facebook. So uh, when I get a chance to get with her and get that squared away, that'll be great. If you guys are thinking about switching phone plans, Verizon has some awesome deals right now. And Brody with Verizon, he can probably get you two new phones and a better unlimited plan for the same price that you're paying right now with AT&T. If you guys are in the market for a new phone plan, give Brody a call, 405-822-9947, 405-822-9947, he is the man, so, um, sometimes, you know, agents' goals are to help sellers and buyers sell or buy properties when it comes to real estate. And there are so many different people that we have to work with during that process. And sometimes there's uh, particular properties that only local banks will loan on. And if you don't have a local bank that will loan on it, that property isn't gonna qualify for traditional government-backed mortgages. So I'm working with an agent right now on that and the one lender that will give the buyer the best deal, the best deal on the loan, um, hasn't gotten back with the agent yet, and the agent is bringing this to my attention, and I just keep reiterating the fact that this lender's awesome, this lender's gonna be able to give the buyer the best deal possible, and it's really the only lender, there's another lender I know, but that lender requires 20% down. This lender only requires 10% down. That's a way better option. So the agent, today's Sunday, so the agent checked in with me again and said, I still hadn't heard back from the lender. Well, it's the weekend. Of course you haven't. Like, you can't honestly believe that a lender is going, like this lender is giving someone the best deal possible. And banks work Monday through Friday. They don't, they don't work weekends. So I just, I just, text back hey this is the best letter possible you know shoot him an email shoot him an email because the agent's like I've called him three times with no callbacks and, it, and it, if you've called him three times on a Saturday and a Sunday of course you haven't gotten any callbacks a lot of agents don't recognize that a lot of businesses don't work 24 7 you know I don't I don't know one top producer that's an agent that works 24 7 like that that you you have to have family time you have to have uh business time and you gotta have time for god you can't you can't work 24 7 for customers like you could take a call and be like hey yep i made a note i'm gonna get to work on that first thing monday or like that's a great question we'll be able to get that answer next week when that particular department is open like DEQ like you're not gonna get an answer from DEQ right now there's there's it's just it's just mind-blowing how sometimes agents think all other industries are open 24 7 that real estate has two weird things about it one the profits are split with different companies you can't go into Walmart, buy something, and say, I want Target to get half, half the profit. You can't do that. 
that's only in real estate and that's only with realtor members real estate agents they don't always co-broke they don't just realtors do so um, that's weird like Amazon doesn't give Walmart and Target half its profits just because you happen to also know Amazon or Walmart and Target but real but realtors do so that's weird and then number two this thought of having to work 24 hours a day seven days a week like that's not productive for anyone that's not going to get everyone taken care of correctly because there's no set operation hours like something's going to get lost in the mix so anywho um nothing crazy that i can show you guys today just touch your base with you um got a closing on thursday super excited about that setting it up for the sellers to pre-sign on wednesday is doing the roof tuesday or wednesday so really hoping he can get that done on tuesday so the buyers can do the final walkthrough i've got to send that agent the ac repair invoice and then they'll go look at the roof and get the roof invoice and all that stuff too so guys that's where i'm at today um if you pray pray for my family and i um you know handling all the business that we handle and then getting the other house prepared for sale and stuff like that you know it's just you know fear is not from god fear is not from god fear is from the adversary but sometimes i get scared i do i get scared and and that's why it's good for a real estate agent to have to sell a house every three four years because it, it is a scary process it is it is but it makes us better agents for our customers because it reminds us of those feelings like when i was buying this house total reminder of all the feelings i've had when buying a house just butterflies just just great reminders and now that i'm selling our other house and doing the make ready on it and and staying on top of the contractors and stuff like that same thing butterflies you know like i want to price it competitively but i don't want to price it so low that i leave money on the table but I don't want to hold on to the thing either. Like I want to sell it and be done. I want to sell it, get it off my shoulders so I can focus on the business and focus on my family. With this make ready going on, it's just so much, it, it's, it's a little over consuming. Um, I've got the camera set up on the house so I can see everything about it. But once again, you know, I just gotta trust in God. Put it, give it in God's hands. He'll take care of our family. He's blessed us so much so far. I need to quit trying to worry about it all. No worries there. All right, guys. Josh Ryan at Better Hopes Garden Real Estate Paramount. If you're thinking about buying or selling a house or land in Oklahoma, give me a call. 405-315-7965. The group of agents that I work with and myself are here to earn your business. And we just, we're just we just so thankful and blessed for all of you. Have a great day. Bye.